The caption style is used to format the captions of figures and tables and you can find it in the styles gallery or if you don't see it there just open the styles pane and it will be listed here. All you need to do is right click and go to modify it. We need to change the font color. The default option in this case is italics, just remove that. The font must be the same as the rest of the document, so in my case this is Arial. And the font size could be the same size as your text, or it could be a little bit smaller. The default option for me is 9, which is way too small. My normal style is size 11, so I can have my captions also size 11 or a little bit smaller. I'm going to choose size 10. 10 is probably the lowest you could use because any lower than that and it becomes a bit difficult to read. If your font size is a little bit smaller than your text, you could also make your captions bold if you prefer, but it's entirely personal preference. The default option is for the captions to be formatted with the same alignment as the text. So in my case, this is fully justified. If you prefer to have your captions centered, you can choose this option. And if your headings are also centered, that will make it nice and consistent. However, in my case, my headings are left aligned. So I'm just going to keep the captions formatted the same way as my text. The captions are always more compact than the rest of the text. They need to stand like a nice, neat label. So by default, they will be single spaced, which is absolutely fine. So we can keep it. If your text is double spaced, then maybe have your captions as one and a half line space. So they're more compact than the text, but not drastically different than it. In my case, my text is one and a half line spaced. So single line spacing makes perfect sense for my captions. Once you have set up your font, font size, any bold options if you prefer, the color, the alignment and the line spacing, you can go to the format button and open the paragraph options. There's no need for any indentation, anything special. All you need to set up is a spacing option. In this case, if your captions are going to be above the figure or table, the space before them must be bigger to separate them from any previous paragraphs. And the space after them, so the space between the caption and the figure or table, needs to be smaller, so they stay close to the figure or table. And then you go to line and page breaks. When your captions are above the figure or table, you have a useful option here to keep with next, which means this caption will always stay with the following paragraph. And in this case, that paragraph is actually your figure or table. So that will keep the caption and the figure or table always together. Keep lines together is also a useful option to have in case your caption ends up a bit longer. This will prevent it from splitting between pages. So basically starting on one page and continue in the next page. And when you're ready, just confirm all the changes in the paragraph options and click OK to confirm all the changes in the caption style. To create a caption, now you need to go and position your cursor just above the figure or table that you want to caption. Create an empty line if you don't have one. And then from the references tab, you will see the option to insert a caption. When you click on it, it's going to ask you, is the figure or a table you're captioning? Simply click on the relevant label option. And then if you want to add also the section number to your figure, you can click on the numbering option and you have the option here to include the, the section number and also to choose what separator you want between the two digits. Do you want the figure displayed as figure 1.1 1 .1 or figure 1-1 1 -1 or 1 colon 1? Simply choose the option you need and click OK to confirm. And this is how it will be displayed. This option is useful if you don't have any figures or tables in the appendices. If you have figures or tables in the appendices, it will be easier to keep the simple numbering because the appendices will not have a section number to use, so that will cause issues. If you have figures or tables within the appendices, or if you simply prefer to have consecutive numbers, you do not need to use the section number. So you can just leave the default option of having a simple consecutive number. Click OK to confirm that you're inserting a caption. Now you need to write the description of this particular figure. After the number of the figure or table, you can just leave an empty space or you can put dot or you can add a colon or you can add a dash. It is entirely personal preference, but it needs to be consistent in the entire document. So whichever option you decide, make sure you have it on all your captions. I'm going to choose to have just a space. When you use the automatic captioning, you have two big advantages. When you need to insert another figure, the computer will automatically add the correct number. 
and any changes that happen, for example, a figure or a table being deleted or a new one inserted among the existing ones, the computer will automatically change all the numbers. So they will be in a sequence. And also by using the automatic captions, you will be able to create an automatic list of figures and tables, which is extremely useful if you have more than a couple of figures and tables. And to insert a table caption, simply go to insert the caption again and choose that you want to insert a table. And here's my last one. And there are all the captions done.